Get the video they also. He might appear to be just another employee at Soup Plantation, but there's more behind this young man. For one thing, he's deaf. Being deaf is what's called a low incidence disability, which means there's about one in a thousand, and over 95% of deaf people are born to hearing parents. There's no um, people with a disability in my family. I'm the only one, I am deaf and often it's hard to communicate at home. I have a hard time understanding. At Madison High School, Joyce Brody and Janet Terry have developed a website that prepares students, especially those with exceptional needs, to successfully transition from school to career. Well, the website's important um, for students to get ready for life after high school. And it really helped me how to become independent and how to navigate out in the, the world of hearing people. So it's really been beneficial to me. It's also important for students in elementary school and in middle school because they start collecting and start building a portfolio of information. Since many parents don't know sign language, the site helps guide both students and parents in homes where communication is challenging. Uh, many of us grew up overhearing things. Our parents had jobs. Um, we learned about what they did. We, Mom, what are you doing today? Where are you going? Deaf students, by and large, don't. There, many times, no one in their family communicates. When you go to the website, you see a number of links for students with disabilities. To appreciate this website, you really need to drill down and explore. Click on Deaf and Hard of Hearing, and you have multiple resources, from education and technology to family support and career preparation. Parents then also can find out, oh, I should be talking to my student about this. They can work on the website together. The website is a comprehensive K-12 resource. They can start as early as kindergarten and pass the portfolio on to the next teacher as they move on or do it at home with their parents. It's Because it's web-based, anybody in the world could do it. For students in grades 9 through 12, career preparation includes wide-ranging guidance. The portfolio checklist includes skills, resources, and documentation needed for high school graduation. Any teacher, any parent, any student can work on it from a computer as long as they have access to the internet. The website definitely helps students get ready, yet getting the right experience is something else. We work with our vocational rehab counselor to talk to the businesses. And we say we've got students, they're ready to work, they have good skills. Um, we'd like to set up an interview. For students, the jobs are a bit of magic. The first day a kid's hired, <laughs> they come back and they're, oh, look my new hat, my new name tag, my apron, and, and that's very exciting. Getting these students ready for new jobs is also getting them ready for new lives. Good job, okay. And that's the big connection that Joyce Brody and Janet Terry are truly making with these students. Seeing that light bulb go on on their faces, Sometimes with deaf students, you explain and you explain and you try as many different ways as you can and you're grabbing pictures, you're looking at the internet and there's sort of a confused look on their face but all of a sudden, this is a sign for understand and to sign that, your eyes light up, your face lights up and you can see that on their face and all of a sudden, oh, I understand and that makes it worth it, it really does.